Tensions are rising in Iran. The election has ended in controversy. What are you doing? Fighting back! You gotta get killed, come on! You have a real weapon and you choose not to use it. So you've had phenomenal success on television. You're well regarded. Because you primarily deal in satire, many would assume that your directorial debut would be something satirical or comedy based. But you didn't go in that direction at all. Was that too easy? Well, no. I mean, I think there's a lot of humor in it based in the idea that, you know, imagine a guy just pulled off the streets and told you're a spy. Mm -hmm. And now they've got to try and justify that charge. And all that they have to go through and the absurdity of having to try and prove something like that that is so profoundly ridiculous. There is a lot of humor uh, in the film within that. The, the humor in the film comes from just observing the reality, just mm -hmm. transcribing what you see in front of you. So I think the film really captures the truth of the story. The reality was a little bit different here and there, but I think the, uh, the truth is really well captured. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here promoting the film. <laughs> yeah. What do I have in common with you? So can you tell me why you <laughs> just uh, Journalists meet up with this American spy on the eve of the unrest. He's not a spy. He's not a spy? He's, no, it's a show. It's a show? A comedy show. It's, it's stupid. It's, it's very stupid, yes. He's a comedian pretending to be a spy. I was really drawn to the story. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, Maziar was able to write a memoir that was incredibly universal and compelling, not just about his experience, but what journalists have to go through to try and express, uh, you know, what they witness and, 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 it's happening not just in Iran, but all over the world, and I thought he was able to capture that in a way that was, was kind of remarkable. You've got Oscar buzz swirling already. What do you think? Are you ready for that campaign, gentlemen? It's we're, we're honestly ready for a nap. You're I mean, ready for more than More than anything else, <laughs> we're ready for a nap. Yeah, I think you can nap on the red carpet. They locked you up, but you're still free. In their hearts, they know they cannot win. <laughs>